Oh, there you go. For some reason, I pressed start before and it didn't fucking start. All right. On Planet Namek, both of you guys are gonna get your potential unlocked. About one month after the group set off on their journey, Goku receives an SOS from Planet Namek. With the help of Yajirobe Sensu Beans, what's in those Sensu Beans? I wonder. Goku now fully recovered, boards the spacious Bulma or the spaceship Bulma's father has prepared for him to set off to Planet Namek. On the spaceship, Goku cont continues his training before arriving at Planet Namek. He manages to break every limit to attain greater power than he's ever known. Like the leap between Saiyan Saga Goku and Planet Namek Goku is absolutely ridiculous like the power level is just insane the Saiyans are a true warrior race. Don't oh. oh Vegeta of course being the punching bag like always Vegeta may have taken out the Emperor's underlinings but Frieza soon calls in his elite team of fighters the Ginyu Force in response, Vegeta teams up with Krillin and the others, but even still, their fight with the Ginyu Force is no cakewalk. Goku arrives in the nick of time, ready to show off the results of his training. Raccoon can't even lay a finger on him. Neither could the other. God damn, that motherfucker's neck is thick. <laughs> One Sorry. gut punch and it's You're over. Wide open, so I just went for it. Matt, you little punk. <laughs> Look, you guys have got a choice to make here. Either get off this planet and go home, or you're gonna wind up like your friend here. Did you hear that, Bertha? This jolt knocks out Raccoon with a lucky shot, and suddenly he's dishing out threats to the likes of us. Mm, he's got some nerve. Let's teach you, Shield Punk, why the Ginyu Force are the most elite warriors in the galaxy. Let's go! Alright. Yeah! Come on, Jace, we could do this. Oh, wait, no, that's Jace's voice. Come on, this but uh, we can do this. Whoops. I was doing uh, great ape stuff. Hey, I was blocking. Oh, let's go. Here, let me uh, power up here real quick. Kyle Ken times 20 Kamehameha. Oh, we got to do that, right? Oh crap. Okay, I gotta learn in what way I can finish my combos. Oh, the tag team action, huh? I can't wait. What's this? That should do it. Oh, that definitely did it. All right. What? That didn't do it. I'll go underwater too. Damn. I'm not only whooping your ass on ground, but on in the sea too. In the deep green sea, Kakarot is about to put these boots up your ass. Wait, what? What other special move do I have? Oh shit, he is fast, isn't he? I'm not done yet. Ooh, he reflected it. Motherfucker, man. Uh oh. I definitely attacked a little bit too early there. Alright, charge up. Oh, I like the fact that sound effect changes. Oh, I deflected that shit on him. 
Nice. Damn, he actually left me a little battle damage. I guess my Goku isn't as strong as the, <laughs> the actual Goku. <laughs> my Goku is a 99 cents to our Goku right now. All right, let's go. Proficiency rating. I think we're at three stars now. Goku quickly overpowers two members of the Ginyu Force. One flees, but Goku has been able to clearly demonstrate the fruits of his training. Gohan and the others tell Goku about the Dragon Balls. The Goku Then Goku senses a strong key heading in the direction of Guru. You already know who that is. Telling the others to head for the Dragon Balls, Goku raids himself one more, this time to stop Captain Ginyu. Or readies himself one more, I'm sorry. So, All right, Captain this Ginyu. Is the guy, huh? His power That's him. Level's only around five thousand. That's him, Captain. And I thought the same thing. Don't be fooled. He must be capable of boosting his strength in the midst of combat. From what I can tell, I'd say his true power level is somewhere around sixty thousand. Oh, Captain Guinea with the knowledge. But this guy's just a bloody saying. I'm not, not A saying, I'm D saying, bitch. He could have a natural talent, or perhaps his abilities have been amplified by a mutation like us. Either way, this battle's sure to be interesting. To think I'd find an opponent that I can finally demonstrate my full power on. So, are we gonna dance or fight? Both. I'm gonna teach you how to do the salsa. All right, let's go. Have fun, Kakarot! Vegeta! Oh, but I forgot Vegeta leaves him, right? Alright, let me charge up. Ooh, nice. I got him. I don't remember asking for Oh help, man, I was Jake. supposed to press I'm 3. Capable of fighting my own battles. But in again and it'll be Ah, oh, right when I stop blocking too. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, he broke my fucking guard? My turn. What the hell? Wait a minute, how the Oh, it's cause he hurt himself, so he's he's about to do the Your transform. I'm like is unbelievable. Yeah, I think I'll Don't take let it. Don't let what your do guard down, Goku. That? It happens to you too often, man. You let your guard down, you get overconfident, and something happens. Oh, we're about to switch bodies right now. Hey, there's no sound Change to this one? Oh, there you go. Now. Captain Ginyu begun chuckling, and suddenly he let out a deafening scream. Ah! <laughs> he triggers a technique that allows him to switch bodies with Goku. Now in control of Goku's body, Captain Ginyu heads back to his spaceship with his subordinate. Damn, they couldn't even call him by his name. Goku makes a desperate chase after them but is hindered trapped in captain ginyu's injured body guys listen that's not me it's ginyu using my body the others arrive to find goku battling his own body unknown to everyone vegeta has his own plan for ginyu but first seeing that jace has lost his will to fight vegeta ruthlessly puts an end to his life vegeta why they couldn't even defend themselves! Shut up! You're too <laughs> soft-hearted, Kakarot! It's kill or be killed! After finishing off Jace, uh, Vegeta shifts his attention to Ginyu, who has taken over Goku's body. Yeah, that's now right, Ginyu! To finish the job. Ginyu doesn't have the ability to use Goku's actual power. Change now! Please let 
this work? Throw that frog at him. What? Oh no! Goku rushes to intercept Ginyu's body change technique and is able to reclaim his own body just in the nick of time. Bastard! How dare you! You ruined everything! I'm back to being me again! And then Vegeta, for trying to be greedy, almost got his body snatched too. What, what the hell is going on? What does Kakarot think he's doing? I better swap with a fresh body and quick! Yours will do, Vegeta! Oh, or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Suspecting Ginyu's plan, Goku throws a frog between the captain and Vegeta. Uh-oh. What in the world? <laughs> Vegeta just has absolutely no clue that what's going on. One. He didn't know he was one second away from being Captain Ginyu for the rest of his life and missing out on doing it with Bulma. Hey, they didn't show the rabbit. I mean the rabbit. The frog. Where's the frog at? Thwarted. Captain Ginyu is now trapped inside a frog. And Goku is saved. Where's the frog? They didn't show it. Goku is then put inside the uh, medical machine to recover. However, he can sense Vegeta and the others fighting nearby. Aw, oh, man. Now get ready. Oh, crap. Here we go. Damn, final form Frieza. Meanwhile, Vegeta and the others sense an immense power coming from their opponents, one that far exceeds their own. Just as he has marvelously or marveling at Frieza's strength, Goku's treatment finishes and he is fully healed. Hang on just a little bit longer. Of course, come he always comes way, at the perfect time. Goku's there to save the day. When Goku arrives at the raging battle, Vegeta's moments away from death at Frieza's hands. Oh no, get ready for the, uh... I, I'm begging you, Get ready for the tears. Beat him for me, for the pride of our race. You must defeat him. Please, he must die by a Saiyan's hand. And so, the battle between Goku and Frieza begins. Oh no, Vegeta. Putting your pride aside to, um... For you to beg try you to inspire help. Goku I can only imagine how hard that must have been for you to do I may have hated you when you were alive but I always respected your pride and now it's time for me to share that pride pride in myself I am a Saiyan that was raised on planet Earth and in the name of every single Saiyan that you've made suffer for them and all the people of Planet Namek too. I will defeat you. Let's go, baby. This is gonna be hard. To see you try. Oh, this is gonna be hard, man. If the Great Ape was hard, this is gonna be harder. We'll only be in the way. Go on, come on, hurry! Please don't die, Dad. Make Frieza pay for what he did. Thank you for your words of encouragement, son. I won't let you down. Whoa, are these like quick time events? What the hell was that? I, don't know I was not ready for that. About the prospect of a battle in my entire life. Now I only need to decide how I kill you. Shit. Oh. Oh crap. Trying to recover here. Trying to charge up a little bit. It's alright, I blocked that. We blocked those. Oh, you want to power up too? Let's go! Yeah, let's go, Goku. Get excited over the prospect of beating Frieza's ass. Boost that shit, too. Where are you at, Frieza? Oh, shit. Maybe I shouldn't go looking for him, right? <laughs> oh, crap. Okay, I blocked just in time, too. What the hell? 
froze me in place. Come on, hit him. Yes, still hit him, right? I don't think it connected fully, but it definitely connected. Only choice is to gather enough energy for a spirit bomb. What the hell? That is not what I wanted to do, but fuck it, we'll do it. Come on. Is that the best you can do? Was that ninety nine thousand damage? I didn't even know I had it active. I just wanted to 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 super dash his way, which is with uh, R two and and X, and it did the spirit bomb. <laughs> I'm glad that he got caught by it. I'll take it. That did a hundred thousand damage. Goku's spirit bomb has finally brought an end to the long and hard fought battle. At last, our heroes can rest, or so they think. Until no, it, it can't be. Freeze us alive! Oh, here it comes, guys. I advise against placing too much stock in your escape. Though if you like, I can bring you closer to home. <laughs> Trillin! No, Frieza! Don't do it! Ooh. The explosion that started the <laughs> chain reaction. I think the brat should go next. You, you, ruthless, heartless, bastard! Go, take Piccolo with you and get out of here now! Find Bulma, find the spaceship, and go! Uh... Do as I tell you right now, before I lose what little sense of reason I have left! That means hurry up before I bring out the chunkla on you. Ooh, there he is! Super Saiyan Goku! <laughs> Frieza's worst nightmare. He gets PTSD every time he sees into those blue eyes. Overcome with pure rage at seeing Krillin die before his very eyes, Goku transformed into the legendary Super Saiyajin. Once again, the trumpets of battle sound. Frieza, whose body can survive even in the vacuum of space, has decided to launch an attack powerful enough to destroy planet Namek in its entirety. With five minutes left at last ten episodes, planet Namek's extinction, Frieza finally reaches full power. His he's, power is expanding even more than his muscles. He's too bloated, this man. This really must be 100% of his full power. Goku, are you listening to me down here? Quit standing around and finish him! This is our one chance! It also may be the only chance I'll ever have to fight him. If he really is the <laughs> fucking Goku. being in the whole universe, I need to see if I can beat him myself. What, what did you just say? Goku, listen to yourself! You're out of your mind! There's no point to this! Krillin can't be brought back to life with the Dragon Balls a second time! And I refuse to take the death of my best friend sitting down! Krillin was my best friend! And Frieza took him from me! He killed him in an instant! Like he was nothing! 85% now! 90! Frieza, just know the only reason I'm letting you reach full power is because I want to beat you at your best! No regrets for either one of us. Ooh, I don't want you to have any excuses I when I beat your ass. Thing. You're itching to see what your 100% full power is capable of. Otherwise, you would have blown up the whole planet by now. <laughs> All right, we're about to fight versus roided up. Frieza! My apologies for the wait. This is my full power. Then do you want to finish this? Damn, look at all that. Oh, I was going in right there. I was going in on Frieza. Boost that shit. 
Yeah. You talking about my best friend, motherfucker? Don't you dare say his name! All right, let me power up here to finish you off with some style. Wait! Don't make that wish. Super Kamehameha. Oh, that's so sick. Where are you at, man? Where are you at? Oh, you're on the ground tasting dirt, Frieza. You're tasting nothing but dirt after that attack, aren't you? Well, I'm far from done. Oh! Oh man, it didn't connect. He blocked it. Yes. The Super Kamehameha was sick. Here, wipe yourself off. You're bleeding. Kill you. I'm going to let you kill yourself with your own Destructo Disc. <laughs> oh, the irony. He who triumphs loses everything, while the vanquished escapes. I hate to gloat, but there's a lesson here on the virtue of mercy. Its only value is to your foe. We'll see about that. I am Lord Frieza, the most powerful being in the universe. Which is why... Which is why... You must die by my hand! Ah, uh, Frieza's so good. You fool! Man, that scene is so good. After a desperate struggle, Goku defeats Frieza. He tries to escape from the crumbling remains of planet Namek. But the spaceship he found is too damaged to be piloted. Luckily, he spies a pod piloted by the Ginyu Force. And with that, safely but narrowly escapes Planet Namek. If you guys remember um, when you were kids, they would just show Goku sort of like screaming and powering up while the planet was exploding, right? So back in the day, before the internet time, you literally thought that Goku died because there wouldn't be another. There would be like one new episode every week, at least when I used to watch it on Toonami. So I'm like, ah, oh, shit, Goku actually died. What's going on? It's Super here and thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you aren't subscribed already, make sure you guys do so. And if you want to see some more, there's videos popping up on the screen right now. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.